marvelous, marvelous day for baseball here in the nation's capital, ladies and gentlemen. The Washington Nationals home RFK Stadium behind us. And we are here because on Meet the Mats, we just don't do Matt. groundbreaking journalism. We sometimes write wrongs that need to be righted. And today, Matt, I lost my press pass. What's that, Matt? I lost my media pass for today, so I decided to go to the construction site for the new Washington National Stadium, slated to open in 2008, dunder Kumpen that I am. <laughs> That's funny, Matt, yeah. So I'll be doing a remote feed from outside the stadium to you inside there. Uh, okay, buddy. I understand there's an interview today that you're having with Sean Hill, the ace of the Washington National staff. That's absolutely correct. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the pleasure of speaking with Sean Hill, uh, arguably the ace of the Washington Nationals. Uh, and uh, Sean is actually a native of Canada from Mississauga, Ontario. And what a brave thing he did to take that team from the comfy confines of Canada and bring it down to our nation's capital. That's a very good point. Thank you for coming back to the nation's capital with baseball. It is America's pastime, and Canada is part of North America, so basically baseball is all of America's pastime. Good point, Matt. Sean, I know you're from Ontario, but was it still difficult to leave Montreal? I mean, same country and everything. Sean? Uh, it was uh, for me a little bit. You know, I got family in Montreal, so it was kind of uh, sentimental, you know, being able to play there. But coming here, nice big city, big market, and uh, once a good team going, it should be fun. It must be some relief not to have to take a snowmobile to the mound. Absolutely. You know, we don't have to worry about it. Even with the dome there, you know, you get the ceiling tiles falling on you half the time. But uh, it's, uh, it was a good place to play and also uh, a tough place to play at times. The RFK fans are very knowledgeable of baseball. They know about pitch counts. They might not know about uh, going five-hole top shelf. Probably not. They got the Capitals here, but I don't think they follow them as adamantly as the uh, the Habs fans do back there. You know, it's uh, and that's part of the problem with the Expos. You know, you got the Canadians up there, and that's live and die for them. So, it's uh, it's a little bit different down here, but hopefully they'll take to us. You had Tommy John surgery back in 2004. Yes, uh, September September 04. We talked off camera a bit about the, uh, the after effects of the surgery, uh, your um, ability to throw the curve or the fastball. You seem like you're 100% back right now. Matt. <clears throat> yes, Matt. We're having some technical difficulties with Sean's remote, so you may have to repeat some of the questions I'm asking. Sounds good. There's uh, Rick Peterson and Aaron Heilman uh, walking behind us right now, Matt. Guy, it's Mike Pelfrey. I even know that from out here. <laughs> Okay, there's Mike Pelfrey and Rick Peterson walking behind us right now, Matt. <laughs> there they go. Pelfrey's tall. Pelfrey is tall, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sean, did the surgery affect your fastball, your changeup, or your wrist shot more? Yeah, Sean, what about that? Uh, the wrist shot. Mine was pretty terrible to begin with, but uh, it's even worse now. Uh, no, cur the curveball breaking stuff takes a while to get back, but... Uh, Everything else kind of comes with its with its own time, but uh, hockey was never my forte in the first place. Fair enough, fair enough. Good question, Matt. You also said off camera that you don't really know where the pitchers are going after the surgery, which, you know, if I'm a batter, I don't want to step in the box and stay in there against you. I wouldn't feel safe as a hitter. Exactly. You know, the, the hitters, the worst guys they want to face are the ones that don't know where the ball's going. The guy that's throwing strikes all the time doesn't walk to anybody, they're comfortable. You get a guy that doesn't know where it's going, especially if he doesn't know what the sign is, you can't see the hitter. You know, you got some issues in there. Not knowing where your fastball's going, having uh, grown up in a hockey environment, um, I wouldn't be feeling too safe if I was a hitter. And if you hit a batter and he charged the mound, you wouldn't be afraid to mix it up, right? <coughs> no, that's I. I uh, doesn't bother me too much. You know, it doesn't bother me to get hit by a ball. And at the same time, <laughs> you want to come out there and charge. You got the hockey background. We're rolling a fight a little bit. I wouldn't mess with you. Do you get a 10-minute uh, misconduct or just a warning to the bench? <laughs> Good question, Matt. You're probably gone in this case, I'm assuming. Really? Well, we play a little bit of baseball, amateur baseball, on Meet the Mats ourselves. Yeah. Matt is a catcher. I pitch sometimes. I really can't see. I'm blind as a bat. So we have to work out our own weird signals. He can't see the fingers. Now, do you guys have that kind of problem? Because I know I go shin guard as the fastball. If I want an outside fastball, I go right, right knee. Okay. Left, depending on where the which batter is up. What do you use for signals with your catchers? You got different catchers. I know, like uh, Veritek in Boston, he uses all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it could work to your advantage. The, hit, the hitter's not sure what's coming, right? Yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah. if you, if the pitcher's a little blind, get a little uh, scared in there. So, 
could work to your advantage. I don't know if you know this, but on Meet the Mats, we are lobbying, uh, since this is the city for lobbying, to get Tommy John surgery renamed Sean Hill surgery due to the remarkable comeback that Sean has had. I don't know if you want to go ahead and do that yet, just yet. He uh, he had a pretty solid career. You know, I got uh, I got one good month in so far. It's a long, long road ahead of me, but uh, he had a good career. He was uh, one of our coaches a couple years ago, actually, with the Expo. So got to meet him and uh, you know talk to him about that before I had the surgery. But uh, good man, good career. So I got a lot to live up to if uh, I want to be able to try to even come close to renaming that. Absolutely, absolutely a, a uh, humble Sean Hill. Sean, we appreciate your time. No Thank problem. you again for bringing baseball back to the nation's cap. Sean, nice to see you recovered. Good luck this season. No problem. I appreciate it. All right, buddy. We'll see you back on MeetTheMatch.com. Thanks, Matt. I'll see you back in New York. And that's it from RFK Stadium, home of the Washington Nationals. It's been a great, great experience, and we wish the best of luck to the nation's nationals the Washington Nationals. <laughs> That's all for now. We'll see you soon on MeetTheMats.com. So long, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>